I'm Bo. And I'm Ray. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Hollywood, Hollywood Junket. Junket. <laughs> Great job, guys. Ashley here with Hollywood Junket. We're backstage at So You Think You Can Dance. We're hanging out with Bo and Raylan. Hey. <laughs> How are you guys feeling tonight? Good. A Just mixed, a lot of mixed emotions. Yeah, I can. I feel that from you. I feel. Yeah. But let's talk about your performance. Okay. So, Bo, mm -hmm. I heard that oh women don't really wear heels dancing, and we want to know how you do it because you do it so effort effortlessly. <laughs> And we were just all talking about it. Like, how does oh, Bo yeah. pull this off? You know, I don't really know. Um, I mean, I think I didn't dance in heels until I was, I think, a junior in college. And I've only been out of college for a couple of years. Um, but it's just, it's it's not as hard as you think. I mean, she, she, well, you, you. <laughs> give me this face. Wait, what are you thinking? My heels were this big and they were chunky. Yours are this well, big and skinny. I know. It just takes time to get used to. And I, and I train every single class I take in New York that is theater jazz. I wear my heels. Mm. Always. Um, I think I've maybe not worn them twice out of the hundred classes I've taken. And um, it just helps me get used to it and the stamina and how my body works because it, it does take a second to get used to. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I just like it. It makes me feel long and tall and sexy. And so. Sexy, yeah. Well, you know, Beyonce worked, used to work out in heels. Her dad, they used to, I think they used to run in heels. Oh, no, they used to run singing. That's what they uh, did. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Raylan, I wanted to ask you, JoJo brought up, like, the, the small mishap you had. You guys killed it. How did you feel about your recovery? I felt good. I was just, like, I literally just kept going. Bo yanked me. I was like, okay, we're going for it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was her dress. Yeah. She got caught in her dress. It was only our second time ever dancing in the costumes, yeah. uh, which I think people don't know is that you only get to do it once in costumes, especially our costumes, period costumes. Um, you know, but it was the last lift, of course. Yeah. But I was like, chuck her, get her over. Like, Let's go. And made it. So I think we recovered well. Yeah. And this is a new duo. So, like, finding your your flow together, how was that process for you guys? I felt like it was really just, like, easy. Like, I felt like we were just, like, here. Yeah. I mean, there was yeah. like, a few bumps of like, <laughs> just, you know. You know, so. throwing her over my head, took yeah. a couple tries, um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but we sure. got there. Jumping over Bo was hard. <laughs> I'm tall. Very so. tall. <laughs> like, was I'm, I was like paired over like Keaton and Carter, and they're like the same height. So like partnering with them and like jumping over their heads like wouldn't be hard. But then there's Bo, who's like six foot. <laughs> yeah. and I'm, just, I'm like, six one, baby. Oh, six one. And yeah. some respect on his height. So Sorry, it was, it was a hard lift. <laughs> It was my favorite, though. So what have you guys gained from your journey so far that you, your journey on the show that you plan to take with you throughout your dance, your dance career? I gained trusting in myself, for yeah. sure. Because I'm the type of person who, like, doesn't have no confidence in herself, doesn't believe in herself at all. I'm just like, nah, today's just a normal day at dance. But I feel like now that I'm here, I'm starting to, like, actually believe in myself and, like, like starting to put like positive thoughts in my head like I can actually do this like I could do 50 style because I was like I can't do 50s <laughs> I can't do the 50s so I was like but today's the day that I was like yeah I can do the 50s I can throw whatever they want I can do whatever they need me to do if they want me to do 10 backflips I'm doing 10 backflips so yeah. do it. I'm lifting Not up Bo I'm lifting up no, Bo God. and you and you killed it and you killed it Bo what would you say is your biggest takeaway so far I mean I think I think my biggest takeaway is like how capable our bodies are of doing, you know, we, we're never going to do anything this intense um, for a long time. And it's truly like mentally, physically, emotionally exhausting. And like, you know, there's been many points where I think where we all kind of go into the bathroom and cry during rehearsal and we're like ready to give up. But it's like we are capable and, you know, anyone who puts their mind to it can achieve what they want. Um, and I think that's what I'll take away is that I am capable of more than I realized. Yeah, I love that. And what do you, what would you say is like the most challenging on resetting every week? Because every week you got a you got a new style to learn, right? So how do you shift your mind to get ready for the next challenge? It's all about staying present. Because the second that you start to you space know out, space zone out, out. You no, know, because I mean the first day of our jazz rehearsal, frankly, we were spaced out. It yeah. was it was the day after a show and. Um, we were just mentally fatigued and we were <laughs> unresponsive. He would talk to us and we'd be like, um, but you just really got to keep going with it because this is a beast of a show and you, you know, you got to stay with it and um, you can't let yourself be like, oh, what if I'm in the bottom or, oh, I don't think I look my best because like, the second you slip into that, you're done for. Um, so it's all about being present. 
you guys both, I think, do a great job with that. Twitch talked about uh, connectivity last mm -hmm. week. And I was complimenting you both on that connection you had with the audience. I think you guys both did a wonderful job with that. And I, I pers I'm not a dancer. Mm -hmm. I'm horrible. <laughs> but... I know what I felt when I watched you guys, and you did a great job. Thank you so much. Thank you.